The famous Spelling Manor in Los Angeles is one of the biggest houses in the USA. This mansion is much larger than the White House and more than 21 times the size of the standard American home. The most famous owners of this property were Aaron Spelling and his wife, Candy. Aaron produced famous television projects such as Charlie's Angels, Dynasty, Melrose Place, Beverly Hills, 90210, Charmed, and many others. Aaron died in 2006, at the age of 83, in this very house. Let's talk about how this French chateau-style mansion came to be and who owns it today. Essential facts about the history of the residence. The mansion, located at 594 South Mapleton Drive before Aaron Spelling moved in, is commonly referred to as the Bing Crosby Estate because the American singer and actor, one of the most popular performers in the United States, lived there from 1943 to 1964. In fact, the mansion was built for famous Los Angeles businessman Malcolm McNaughton in 1932, on top of the most prestigious place in Holmby Hills. In 1932, when the world was trying to cope with the Great Depression, constructing a massive mansion with an area of 15000 square meters might seem like an unnecessary luxury. Still, most people in the area saw it as a sign of economic recovery and the possibility of creating more jobs. McNaughton brought the best designers, craftsmen, and artists to work under the direction of the distinguished architect Gordon B. Kaufman. The house was decorated in a French Norman with a luxurious conical stair tower and a rough stone facade. The McNattons lived in the house until 1943 when the mansion was hastily sold to Bing Crosby and his family after they burned their estate to the ground while dismantling the Christmas tree. The Crosby family lived here for over 20 years, the height of Bing's career, including an Oscar win, two nominations, and the period of the birth of three children. In 1964, Crosby sold his luxurious mansion to Patrick J. Frawley, head of the Schick Safety Razor Company, for $350,000. Like Crosby, Frawley lived here for about 20 years, before selling it in 1983 to the Spelling family, who decided to demolish the house and build a new one from scratch. Spelling spent $10.25 million to buy six acres of land and a house, and another $12 million to build the estate. When adjusted for inflation, that's equivalent to $48 million today. During the construction of the house, a real commotion began among the neighbors who complained that the house was too flashy and large. The name The Manor was chosen by daughter Tori. Candy and interior designer Robert Daly spent eight years buying furnishing from England, Italy, and France, including all of house's fireplaces, chandeliers, and sconces. The staircase is a single piece of metal made in Texas. The two-story 56, 500-square-foot home has 123 rooms, 27 bathrooms, and 14 bedrooms on five acres of land. Architects James Langenheim and Associates used imported limestone to create the 51, five-foot-tall facade, basement, and intermediate level for closets between the first and second floors and attic. It was rumored that the Spellings bought the limestone quarry to ensure all the stones looked identical. The construction work involved more than 150 workers daily and more than 500 tons of steel and it was only completed in 1991. The renowned interior designer Robert Daly and Candy Spelling spent eight years selecting furniture, fireplaces, and chandeliers in countries including England, France, and Italy. The manor's extravagant facilities include a bowling alley, a beauty salon, several bars, and a wine cellar. Notably, it also features a two-lane bowling alley, a tennis court, a swimming pool, and extensive gardens that complement its grand architecture. The grounds of Spelling Manor are equally impressive, encompassing approximately 4.6 acres of meticulously landscaped gardens, a motor court with space for over 100 cars, and a circular driveway that leads to the grand entrance. The estate's outdoor spaces are designed for both privacy and entertainment, featuring a swimming pool, tennis court, and various outdoor seating and dining areas. At the time of construction, the house included a cinema room, a gym, a basement bowling alley, a hair salon, humidity-controlled storage areas, four two-car garages, a swimming pool, 
and a tennis court. A long winding road leads to a circular granite courtyard for car. Exciting features of the building. The interior design of Spelling Manor is a testament to the lavish lifestyles of Hollywood's golden era, blended with modern luxury. The mansion's expansive foyer, with its grand double staircase, sets the tone for the rest of the estate, which includes a formal living room, a library, a screening room capable of hosting private movie viewings, and a gym. Each room is meticulously designed, featuring intricate details, luxurious materials, and bespoke finishes that cater to the most discerning tastes. The manor is as big as a football field and has two driveways. It is also bigger than both the White House and the Taj Mahal. During the planning stages, Aaron removed an entire planned additional wing as a cost-saving measure. Not understanding blueprints, Candy advised in 2011, she would not have built the house as big had she realized the scale in person. Originally, there was a zoo planned for daughter Tori. However, by the time the house neared completion, Tori was age 17, negating the need for it. Let's look at the most exciting rooms and elements of a modern mansion that make it unique. Its original owners chose some items, while other items were obtained from those who lived there in subsequent years. The grand foyer featured a monochromatic color scheme with a wide double staircase, black and white marble flooring, a huge crystal chandelier, and Renaissance paintings. Candy wanted this butterfly staircase because it reminded her of the structure from the house in the movie Gone with the Wind. The formal living room is a larger space decorated in white with three separate sitting areas, a grand piano, and a stylish marble fireplace. The formal dining room also features a monochromatic color scheme. The luxurious dining table, which can seat up to 20 people, is located under a low-hanging crystal chandelier. French doors lead out to the landscaped garden. The master suite is 7,000 square feet and includes a kitchen, living room, his and her closets, bathrooms, and a bedroom decorated in white, black, and gray. The cinema has 20 custom-made seats arranged in several tiers. Here, visitors will find a carpeted carpet, a coffered ceiling, and a movie screen that rises from the top. The ground floor is used as a nightclub with a bar, billiard room, and multi-lane bowling alley. The big bathroom with a deep soaking tub, vaulted ceiling, and three full wall mirrors is just one of 27 rooms with a similar purpose. The beauty salon, where a collection of candy dolls was once kept, is designed in a monochromatic color scheme. Other home highlights include a giant kitchen, granite car park, wine cellar, game room, gym, and sunroom. What happened to the house after the owner died? After Aaron Spelling died in 2006, the mansion became known as Spelling Manor and later as Candyland. When Candy Spelling lived there, the house had separate rooms for cutting flowers, wrapping gifts, and storing silver in a humidity-controlled manner. The mansion also had a separate room for wines and cheeses, with tables and chairs, like in French street cafes. At that time, a staff of 30 people was required to maintain order in the residence. Although Widow Spelling loved the property, she put it up for sale, calling it the greatest entertainment house ever, with a kitchen where you can cook for two or 800. In 2011, Petra Ecclestone, daughter of famous Formula One billionaire Bernie Ecclestone, purchased it, paying $85 million in cash. Immediately after taking possession of the house in July 2011, Ecclestone decided to rethink its decor and invested another $20 million in its renovation. Hiring a team of 500 people, led by Los Angeles-based interior designer Gavin Broden. The new project involved the removal of chandeliers, wall lights, and fireplace mantles. The British heiress also converted the room that housed her collection of spelling dolls into a hair salon and massage parlor. Bernie Ecclestone added a marble staircase, nightclub, and aquarium. At the same time during the renovation, Petra Stunt decided to preserve Aaron Spelling's original editing room, located behind the theater screen, along with his handwritten notes. In the fall of 2016, the home was relisted to Rick Hilton and David Kramer of Hilton and Highland, with an asking price of $200 million. There is information that Beyonce secretly came here in 2017 with her husband, the king of hip-hop, Jay-Z. 
In 2019, the house sold for a then record sum for California, $119.7 million, from an initial price of $200 million to $160 million. It was later sold in the summer of 2019 to Canadian entrepreneur Daryl Katz, owner of the Edmonton Oilers hockey team. In February 2022, the house was put up for sale again with a price tag of $165 million. As of February 2024, the manor is still listed, although its value has been reduced to $155 million. Spelling Manor's significance goes beyond its physical attributes, representing the pinnacle of luxury lifestyle and architectural magnificence in Los Angeles. It stands as a testament to the city's rich history of celebrity culture and real estate development, embodying the dreams and aspirations that define the Los Angeles luxury living experience. After taking a look at Spelling Manor, what are your thoughts? Is his home as spectacular as you thought it would be? Would you like to visit this mansion? If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and catch you in the upcoming video.